So what was the hardest piece to find out of this whole cosplay? Uh, you know, just the confidence to wear it out. That's the <laughs> hardest piece to find. Hey guys, I'm Katie Wilson, about to head inside the convention to award some lucky cosplayers with the Sci-Fi Wire Paper Plate Awards. Let's go find some cosplay. All right guys, I have found three epic Witcher cosplays as well as a Rey from Star Wars with a working lightsaber. Fairly odd parents cosplay here at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm Red Riding Hood. And I'm Robin Hood from Xenoscope Comics. <laughs> Tell everyone who you guys are cosplaying as. I am the Crimson Chin. And I am the Bronze Kneecap. Okay, I am here with two incredible cosplayers cosplaying as Magneto and Mystique. You ladies look amazing. How long did it take to put this together? Um, about two months in the making of both of these. I'd I'd say about uh, probably six months. This is probably about four months. A couple months. Yeah? Yeah. Six months. <laughs> six months! Woo. So the detailing on this took about a month. We got here a little late today because we were finishing up some last minute stuff too, so. Yeah, what is like the hardest part of putting together your cosplay? For both of us, I think it was these bodices because it was our first time making foam. Honestly, these pants are probably one of the hardest things because there are so many decorative seams. It was just horrible. <laughs> It took a lot of trial and error to get all the proportions right, you know, to match with the muscles. I did all the artwork on the face and all the painting and everything like that. What was the deciding factor that you guys wanted to cosplay as these characters this year? Um, I did this, started this about six years ago, no one was doing it. Honestly, strong, badass female characters will rock your world. That's what it's all about. It's all about those strong ladies and amazingly intricate costumes. For me, it's definitely the artists that work for Xenoscope. They're like my favorite. Um, they they really hire a lot of female artists, and that's probably my favorite thing about it. What got me into it? Well, this is my best friend, and she's really been my inspiration through all of it. Aw, that is so sweet. All right, guys, I have an award for you from Sci-Fi Wire, our Paper Plate Awards, and your award is Hoodtastic wow. Award. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, congrats on the Hoodtastic Award. The oddly awesome award. Yeah, so there you guys go. Congratulations. The oddly awesome paper plate award. Extraordinary paper award. So here you guys. Thank you so much. That is for you. You have won our paper plate award for being <laughs> extraordinary. Well, you guys all look amazing. Time for the award. Your sci fi paper plate award is Best Coven Cosplay Award. because this is stuff straight out of a nightmare. I'm standing here with Leatherface, Jason, and Michael Myers. And I think I've just been hacked by this somber right here, but I've also run into a Reaper. If you know me, you know Overwatch is one of my very favorite games of all time, and I have found myself a Daredevil and Cable. These dudes look epic to me. Gerudo Fortress Link. This is incredible. You must be a huge Breath of the Wild fan. I am, I am. What inspired you to want to be Gerudo Fortress Link? You know, I think uh, Link showed us that it's really important to feel comfortable showing off our feminine qualities, you know? It's okay for a guy to come out here and bear, bear some belly. I wanted to cosplay Sombra just because I love her look, and I decided to shave my head just for her, so yeah. <laughs> I've always been a fan of Cable since like the 90s X-Men, and then he's been in the Deadpool movie, and I thought it was a cool version to do. And I just like the Netflix series. They did a good job of bringing him back and being a main character, especially in the Defenders. What inspired you to want to scare everyone this year? We're all family. <laughs> what is the hardest piece of your cosplay to put together? Well, it's probably the sleeve, the arm, the bionic arm, because it's hard to get all that mobility, and then just to make it actually look like a, a metal arm. To get the sort of bulk that Reaper has, because he's kind of cartoony, this, I actually have some lacrosse gear underneath of all of this, so to add the extra sort of shoulder and, and chest size, because unfortunately I'm not this buff underneath of all of this, so. <laughs> I had to, I had well, you to, fooled me. I had to help myself along. I'm this tall, thankfully, so. This apron had a lot of work put into it. Lots of pieces, lots of dying, lots of work. And, of course, lots of blood. 
So what was the hardest piece to find out of this whole cosplay? Uh, you know, just the confidence to wear it out. That's the <laughs> hardest piece to find. All right, well, we have your award. Our Sci-Fi Wire Paper Plate Award. Oh, yeah. And yours is the Marvelous Cosplay Award. Get it? Marvelous Cosplay Award. There you go, guys. There you go. Why don't you show that off? Wave it around. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, you. guys. Breath of the Wild Cosplay Award. Yeah! The Cosplay of the Game Award. Oh! -ho! <laughs> That's a good pun. I am awarding you with the Killing It Award. Yeah! So I'm going to give that to you and run away. Overwatch day couldn't get any better. I just run into two more Overwatch cosplayers and I am so excited. You guys look amazing. For those who don't know out there, please tell us who you're cosplaying. I'm Soldier76. I'm Jutra Mercy. I have found the most adorable family of Time Flyers. You guys look incredible. Just wow. I have run into an incredible World of Warcraft cosplayer, Deathwing. You look amazing. Thank you so much bumped into a Venom, which is so cool. You look incredible. Your cosplay is so out of this world. What is it made out of? It's made of uh, fabric, foam, and um, wires. Yeah. A lot of times when I see Mercy cosplay, the wings don't look so legit. How did you make them look so realistic? I think part of it is the like blade extensions that help. Um, and those are laser cut out of uh, plexiglass. I started with the gun and then uh, I got someone to also make the jetpack, but then I finished it myself. The horns, they're like hollow. I made like frames and then I wrapped them around like each scale. It's just one thing I had to like glue. Yeah, I like burned myself super bad. I guess it goes with the cosplay. What was the hardest part of putting it together? I think it was the body suit. You had to think about the, how it shapes your body and um, that it fits well. So yeah. I had to get the mask to stay on my head. Ah. That's the hardest part. In fact, I'm having problems with it all convention. The elastic I use has uh, seen many cons. How do you like cosplaying? Uh, I love it. It's kind of like a tradition. Like oh, we've been doing the, it since like forever. Like since I was one, I would come in like a cute little like outfit onesie thing. It's just like something we do every year. It's really fun. Well, that is awesome. I am definitely loving the family spirit. And it's time for our Sci-Fi Wire Paper Plate Award Timeless Cosplay Award. Wow Factor Award. Look at that. That is for you. Show it off. The Wow Factor Award. Get it? Wow. World of Warcraft. You got it. All right. Let's give you guys your sci-fi paper plate award, which is Game of the Year Cosplay Edition Award. <laughs> yes. That is true because in 2016, Overwatch was Game of the Year. All right, it's time to award you with our Sci-Fi Wire Paper Plate Award, which is the Venomous Cosplay Award. Yeah!